Okay, back again, and uh, where I left, uh, where I forgot to mention before, before I started uh, to go ahead and do the bow drill friction fire. Um, on the way up, we passed by some cottonwood trees, and uh, I went ahead and grabbed um, a couple of pieces of the cottonwood, and I, I just now about, uh, I have no idea what time it is now, but uh, just now went ahead and fashioned this up. So um, one other thing I did want to mention, uh, in other videos that I've watched, the guys demonstrating how to do the bow drill fire or friction fire, hand drill, etc., mention that it's a good idea to warm up the boards. What we're, uh, in addition to warming up the boards, I, I started to say, uh, in actuality, what you're doing is filling the notch, but you are actually warming the boards up as well, the spindle and the uh, fire board as well. But you're also trying to get the dust built up into the notch. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of dust in there before you start cranking down on your uh, bow drill. That if you have, uh, once you have the proper amount of dust, which is generally up to the top of the notch, uh, you're not going to have uh, the trouble uh, igniting the, uh, the actual coal in there. And then you're also going to have enough material when you do that to have a coal last a while, which is obviously the idea here. So um, let's go ahead and and get started on the, on the deal. Oh, it doesn't look like I got my notch. Uh, So as I said, this uh, spindle and the fireboard are both cottonwood. This is a softer wood. There is plenty of it all, all along every wash and stream in Arizona. A lot of people come out here and say you call that a river because there's very rarely ever water in, the, in our rivers. But uh, anyway, as you can see, this is a good, a good material for your, to get a coal going uh, relatively quickly. The other thing I'm a little concerned with here, with this, uh, with getting this fire going tonight, is my tender bundle itself. About the only thing I've got up here is really, really, really dry um, pine needles. So it's not exactly the bird nest that I would have liked to have started with, but that's okay. Um, we're probably gonna be able to make this work anyway, I, my hope. And uh, so we'll go ahead and, and get this this material in there and let that let that coal kind of work its way into the balance of the material there I never get in a big hurry uh, very rarely get in a big hurry uh, when I'm doing this I think the the more chance you give the coal to kind of get on top of the other material in your in your bundle, the better off you're going to be. So, one of the things I try to do is uh, get the smoke. Once the smoke is wafting all the way through your tender bundle, that's a pretty good indicator that uh, you got you got contact with the tender material, not just the coal burning. The other thing I I do. On occasion is I kind of uh, wrap this thing up a little bit and uh, make sure that the coal is still in there but rather than blowing on it I give it a little wave action do a little figure eight and that seems to uh, give it just enough oxygen uh, rather than blowing the the coal all apart in there
If that doesn't work, then we just go back and kind of give it a little more action there. And the more smoke that comes out of it, the better off you're going to be. I've actually had them catch on fire doing this. So, and as you can see, there's a you know, a good amount of smoke starts coming out. That's what you're shooting for. And there we are. There's our fire. The other thing I've noticed is people tend to drop this too soon. It's not going to burn you if you're holding it correctly. You're not going to get burned. And then we just place that, place that in your fire. You can get closer there. And as you can see, the flames come up through. They come up through your tender. They come up uh, into your kindling. And uh, if, you're, if you've searched out the proper um, wood for your kindling, in other words, dry wood for your kindling, then uh, the whole thing should uh, take off just beautifully. And you didn't have to touch anything. You didn't have to add wood. You didn't have to worry about snuffing it out by dropping the, the more material on top of it. It just goes from there catch up with you in a couple of minutes once that uh, once that uh, kindling and the fuel wood start to burn uh, down and drop into the uh, middle of your uh, log cabin your support logs on the side